Old vans are nothing like the comfy, quiet, quick vans that we've got today. Back in 1924, Morris Commercial Cars Limited was born to build a heavier type of van. And between then and 1968, they built like 85 different variants. Everything from big, heavy trucks to tippers to double-decker buses and everything in between. But it's after the war, in 1948, at the Earls Court Motor Show to be precise, that two vehicles would be launched that would go on to become automotive working class heroes. They were the Morris Minor Car and this, the Morris J-Type Van. And although that is an ancient van, the principle of that van remains today. Small exterior dimensions, TARDIS-like interior, able to navigate the streets of towns and cities. What about today though? Well, today we're looking at a Morris commercial vehicle, the same badge, but a totally reborn van. Electric underpinnings, a range of up to 250 miles, designed, engineered, and built in Britain, and using some mad, modern materials. That's what we're going to look at today. I'm Johnny Smith. Welcome to The Late Break Show. This episode is proudly supported by BlackCircles.com, the UK's largest online tyre retailer. So John, this is the van that I first saw several years ago online. And when I first saw a picture of it, I thought it was a render. I didn't uh -huh. think it was real. And, and that's partly the color, I think, Johnny. The color just stands out in urban environments or in countryside. And you know, she's been to Ireland, she's been to Scotland, been to Wales, <laughs> and she just stands out everywhere you take her. Yeah. You know, we, we've seen her miles in the distance and you say, there she is over there, that's a blue <laughs> van. So, so it's not a render and you can- welcome, It's a real thing. Welcome to our Morris JE. And this was our proof of concept. It was really built just to test the market. Yeah. And it's done that so well, you know, in terms of pre-orders, which are an enormous number. Uh, and in terms of interest, and we've been fighting people really who want, to, <laughs> want to come and drive it or look at it. So, so this old girl, never meant to go very far, has done really well for us. So, so we had a CAD designed body, made this in one piece in aluminium. So it's actually been hand wheeled as well, right yeah. here. Uh, and we can show you the buck later on that was, it was offered up to. We call it the egg box, which is a lovely, brightly coloured buck as well. Uh, so, so that was the body, and of course the style is so much based on the old J-Type as well, yeah. which I think you drove as well, so yeah. as well, a good old girl. Um, and that, that's from the time when vans were characterful, you know, and, and were great fun. Nowadays, all we see is vans that have been converted or adapted, yeah. uh, the white as we know, or grey or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, the colour here and the style, the two-tone style, which we'll see, just makes the van world more exciting again. So I'm right in thinking that basically, yes, it's retrospective looking. It, there's a massive hat tip to that, clearly. Yeah. But it's completely 21st century in terms of the drivetrain, in terms of the materials. It's, it's the idea of taking a small wheelbase van that doesn't take up a large footprint on the road, but yeah. maximizes the interior space. Yes, what was actually clever with the old J-Type uh, was that because it was cab over engine, and the yeah. engine is almost alongside you in the cab. It is. Of course, that, that's sort of the design you want for electric vehicles. Yeah. Because you are sitting over, you know, the motor is underneath, the batteries are underneath. So, hey, presto, we've, we've got a design that really suits. Yeah, no overhangs whatsoever. No, 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 that's right. Yeah. And, and it also has a great volume to footprint ratio as well. The old J-Type was, was known for its volume. Uh, compared to the, the road print, if you like, of it as well. So, so th th this, this is based very much not just to look good, but to be a really usable van. So we're going for a one tonne payload, which we achieve in just a, a two and a half tonne van by going for lightweight materials. And we'll come on to the pink one in a moment yeah. as well, because that's where we've really gone to town with the carbon fibre, which is recycled and aluminium chassis. That's what we need to talk about now. Let's go over to the pink van. Okay. 
Now, although the blue van has been around now for probably three and a half years, it was really just a, a functioning mule, a prototype, if you will. And it was there to just show what could be done. And it's not really an accurate representation of the Morris commercial final product because underneath that blue skin is aluminium, like John said, but underneath it's really a reshelled existing electric van from another manufacturer. So it drove very, very well. And I wanted to have a go in it before having a go in the Samini Pink one. And I must point out that when I go in the Samini Pink one, that is very much a sort of functioning concept car at this stage. Let's get this on camera, John. Okay. This is an exclusive um, first drive of this vehicle. Nobody else has driven this. Nobody this else, Johnny. No, we're yeah. waiting for you. <laughs> Good. I'm glad to hear it. Thank you. The difference between that one, which is the sort of proof of concept, and this, this is your sort of pre-prod. Yes. To, to be quite honest, they are completely different. I, I don't actually think there's a single part that is the same. Oh, really? Which is incredible. No, okay. No. So people, this is... People see this and think, oh, they've made another one. A, but, just a pinky one? Yeah, but actually this is completely different. First of all, th this, this is the recycled carbon fibre. Recycled uh, carbon fibre. Recycled fiber. is important, yeah, as well. Uh, the surfaces are very similar, uh, but you can see subtle differences around it where, where we've now got some joint lines where we have to have for the bumper, which of course was not on the one piece aluminium. Yeah. Uh, yep. Sadly, in some ways, we've lost our our centre split, split screen, screen. Yep. which people notice, but that's more practical and there are some vision angle, things like that. Yep. Just by you there, we've got the, uh, we've got the cameras. Yes. Out, which are really the way to go. And I think particularly with vans, yep. you know, where people get knocking things around as well. So that's important. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we've got some interesting doors on the, on the van, which we'll come and look at in, in more detail as well. Yeah. Uh, the seats have moved forward. Uh, I've noticed that. space. There is, isn't there? Yeah. There's more. Yeah. There's more back space, more yeah. load space. The, the doors a little bit smaller and has come forward a, a little bit as well. Yeah. So, so we've got the the design intent load space that I mentioned earlier, as well. Uh, and crucially, the chassis and the drivetrain. Because totally. that was borrowed from totally another different. vehicle just to kind yes. of. Yes, that that that, that was like a, a, a motorized uh, concept vehicle. Concept vehicle. Yep, that's right. And 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 this is our own chassis in aluminium. Uh, it's got proven drivetrain in it but but totally different to that yeah so the principle here johnny has really been to go for uh proven reliable mechanical parts and battery and motor uh battery management systems because the innovation that we have here is more in the body and in the chassis yeah and it's that lightweight which is getting us well on our target you know this as it stands now is, is about 1200 kilograms 1200 which, kilos which is not with the biggest battery but it, but it's 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 going exactly the way we want yeah wow that's uh, light when we put it on the weighing pads we're never quite sure what we're going to get but it's worked out worked out really wow. well and, and talking that, of, talking of batteries yeah, actually yeah. three different battery yeah, packs yeah. three different ranges so that's your 40 kilowatt hour is your entry level yeah. Uh, which is 150 mile range. Yep. Then you've got 60 kilowatt hours. Yep, which is 200. 200 mile range, which is pretty yep. good. And then you've got 80 kilowatt hour battery pack, which is your sort of top dog. 250 mile WLTP yes. range. And, and, and we, we will easily achieve that with, with the weight because, you know, weight is such an enemy for an electric vehicle. Yeah. But for a commercial electric vehicle, it, it's even worse because yeah. you're trading off payload against that weight. This is not a van where you're trying to sort of mass, mass, mass produce, is it? You're not going to try no. and sell 100,000 a year or... No, no. The world, the, of, the world of EV vans is getting busier, that we know. Yes, I mean, I mean first of all, the van market itself is, is enormous and, of course, is accelerated with the transition to electric, yeah. with all the ULEZIs set up, yeah. uh, wherever you look now. Uh, whether London gets its larger one or not, will time will tell, but... Uh, uh, it, it means there's a, there's a massive change to electrification in the van world anyway. Yeah. There's about three and a half million vans on the road. There's about 300,000 sold each year. And we're just going for the top one or two percent of that. And somebody who's proud to put their name down the side, whether it's Harrods or Hotel Chocolat, I don't know if I can mention names, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but it's um, that whole idea it's that, that, it's, it, that design can be interesting. Yes. And eye-catching and memorable, but, but the bottom line is it's still very practical. Yes, yeah. yes. It, it really is practical. Yeah. And, and it, it gives a message also to your customers, I think, as well, to say that, you know, you, you've gone electric. People can see it. It's one of those Morris electric vans. Yeah. You know, that's the idea. I love the logo. Oh, 
<laughs> the original yes. logo, but with the lightning strike in there yes, as well. Yeah, yes. I think it, it's great. It, it's very similar, but uh, updated, like, like, like the van. Yeah, itself, so. it's ace. Yeah. The Morris JE comes on Continental Van Contact Eco tyres. And when it comes to needing new tyres for your car, or indeed your van, head to the Black Circle's website, enter your vehicle registration number and your postcode, and then you'll find the most suitable tyres for your car and your budget. There are thousands of reviews of different tyres from real customers to help you choose the best tyres for your car. And with the Black Circle's click and fit service, with over 2,000 tyre fitting partners, there will be a garage or a mobile tyre fitter conveniently located near you. Here we are in the new Morris JE then. This is a first, a world first exclusive drive. And although this is definitely a pre-production vehicle, you'll probably hear some shakes and some shudders. It is not road legal at present, so we've actually hired a, a stretch of road in the countryside. I've been fascinated by this project ever since I saw the, the blue um, design concept. And I just wanted to really show the world what this is about and how I believe there's a really good place for a van like this. This is not going to be a mass produced, stack them high, sell them cheap proposition. This is not really to be directly compared to the sort of main stream manufacturer adapted piston vans. Um, if you've seen the LEVC range extender van that I did a walk around video of ages ago now, I'll put a link above my head, but really not a lot else is out there. And here's a van with a characterful face made of recycled carbon fiber, all British. Even the battery modules are sourced in the UK. But what I love about it is besides the fact that it's so characterful on the outside, it's really useful. Three different battery pack sizes, three different ranges from 150 to 250 miles WLTP, two Euro pallets, a, a ton of payload, way more than some of the other vans that are around. Although it's a small van at four and a half meters, there's a lot you can cram in and so much potential. And it's got a really good turning circle, which is good because actually, where I am today is the last place you're probably going to own a van like this, because it's mostly going to be living in, in urban environments. You can probably hear you've got the, the brake, brake booster. Of course, it's got electric power steering, like all these things. The dash is not finished, not the final version. The output in terms of uh, electric motor, and like I said before, the, um, it's front wheel drive about 150 horsepower, 230 newton meters of torque, top speed of 90, zero to 62 in 12 seconds. Remember, vans don't need to be fast though. It's not about speed, it's about what you can carry. And yes, you can rapid charge this if you want. They haven't given me firm stats on that. They haven't given me firm details on who makes the cells of the batteries, uh, who makes the motor, although they have said it's British, and who makes the suspension and the steering, which are off existing vehicles that, are, that in their words are proven already. I think stuff like this is only gonna be in more demand, but they're not wanting to sell hundreds of thousands of these in a highly competitive market. They're not an adapted piston car. This is all ground up, a vehicle you'll probably invest in and buy and keep for a long time. Pick me up, guess my weight, not me the door. So I haven't touched this yet, but John wants me to try and work out how light this door is for the Morris JE. Obviously it's made out of carbon fiber. Recycled carbon fiber. Recycled, I mean, recycled carbon, carbon, fiber. carbon fiber. Because as we said earlier, weight is so important for the JE yeah. and the whole body is made out of recycled carbon fiber. This was a way that helped us at shows to explain to people the benefits of it. Yeah. And it works so well with children, little kids, Lifting it up, and I'm door. giving away now how well, light I'm it gonna, is. Okay, I'm going to do. I'm bracing myself like the world's <laughs> strongest man. I don't think I feel like I need to, but whoa. <laughs> okay, so it's. I'll turn it round for the purposes of the viewer. Look at this. That's what. I don't know. What is that? Two kilos? Yeah, a couple of kilos. Is it yeah. really? Yeah. And a normal steel van door would be how many kilos? Probably twenty or something ridiculous. At least. Like that. Wow. So why, why carbon fibre? Is it recycled because it's actually quite cost effective? 
and the, the, the recycled is not quite as strong as virgin carbon fibre. Yeah. Uh, but it's really the whole message of Morris as well. We like the recycle theme as well. Yeah. Uh, and it's available in the UK, so it is a UK sourced recycled material from the black country, actually. Is it Birmingham. really? Yep, yep. And what they do there, they, they strip out the resin from it yep. and then can remanufacture it slightly chopped up. The strands. The strands, and then it's re remanufactured. Yep. Reconstituted yep, yep. carbon. Which is why it looks random rather than laid out. Yes. Uh, cool. That works well. It so, works really well. So carbon fibre from the black country, battery modules from the northeast. Yep. Electric motor from... Can't say too much, but UK, UK. <laughs> Definitely so in the UK. Yep, yep, yep. It's yep. good. Suspension parts, UK as well. Yep, yep. Why? I mean, this is such a British icon. It's got to be, you know, engineered in UK, sourced in UK, built in UK. Wow. And, and we don't want a Chinese part on it. Can I say that? You can. Well, I guess, <laughs> I guess it, it's an important USP for yeah, you. It is. It's and big. if people don't <clears throat> see the value in that, then there's, it's probably lost on them. Yeah, but yeah, indeed. indeed. Very cool. Okay. Very light. Yep. So, oh, sol solenoid release. Well, oh, that's neat. Yep, indeed. But it gives good access. The aim is to get also to get a pallet loading in this side. On that well, side as well. Side. Brilliant. So we've got the two Euro pallets in there. And here we get a glimpse of the carbon fibre, which is what it's all about. Of course. You can see most of it doesn't have the strict weave yep. because it's recycled. Right. So you see some of it does in certain places and on the body a lot of it was where, where there's detail, yep. they need the weave, where there's not detail you use the re recycled. I see, I see. And possibly next time we might do one unpainted as well. well that's a great idea. why not show it off? <laughs> so it could be like it, the... it, it's a shame in a way that we painted this, this girl. It could be like the Koenigsegg of the van world. <laughs> Yes, that's right. Uh, I'm liking okay. this as well. So you've got okay. th three abreast seats. Yep. There'll be two or three options. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So you can order it as just a two yep. with, a, with a console yep. or something. Yep, exactly. It's exactly. really quite plush. Yes, and, and, and in keeping with the exterior, we want it to be high end as sort of standard. Yeah. And then maybe we can trade down if people want something a little bit more cost effective sort of thing. But we want yep. people to think of the Morris as the, the Bentley of the van world, if I can say that. Yeah, <laughs> <So>. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's great. It's good. And there's so much, I guess there's so much potential as well, because, I mean, like you say, this is a pre, this is a pre-production van, but yep. presumably you'll be able to order this either completely bare to do whatever you want, because you're looking for customers, everything from ice cream, purveyors, coffee, you know, boutique Bakers, deliveries. flower shops, whatever, yeah, yeah. And they're all yep. going to want their different... Different things, yeah. Campers. Yeah. High-end camper. Many, many people, when you take it to a show, they say, when are you going to do a camper? Do and, they? And yes, they do. And, and, and there's a big market for that. Yeah. We're going to use a system at the moment, actually, where we can put in a uh, sort of a kitchen unit in the back and just demonstrate that a little bit as well. Yeah. Uh, and possibly look at other variants in the future, but I can't say too much about that. Okay. But, uh, but definitely a market there. Yeah. Yeah. Show me these back doors. Yes. I'm interested. Yes. yes, yes. And, and, and the back doors are unique uh, in the way that they hinge or don't hinge, okay? So you see this one, it actually works on the slider. Oh. So it's controlled, controlled by links, but oh has a, a sliding mechanism. So that takes less space. Absolutely. So you could back up further into a garage or against a wall or something like that. It also means you never lose a battle against my least favorite um, natural element, which is wind. Yes. Yes, indeed. I can't indeed. stand the wind, especially when you've got doors. Yeah, and, and, and quite often you have a two stops, don't you, on the, on the rear you, van door. You do, you have a double You'll come out 90 or 180, and as you say, you're battling the wind for that. But this, this, is, all, this is all controlled, and we're, we've got a patent going on this as well. Really? Yeah. So it's a world first? Yeah. yeah. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, created by, actually, our friend Tony, who did the building as well. Really? <laughs> I was going to say, the, uh, <laughs> you can't necessarily see it in this shot, but uh, the Morris Commercial Building is made out of six, six shipping containers. Six containers, yep. Solar recycled, power. of course, recycled. Yeah. Yep. It's really cool. Yep. I like yep. it a lot. I'm just noticing some great details, the little reversing camera that's in the window yep. there. That's a little bit but the, same, the same principle, giving you good access with the minimum footprint again as well. Yeah. So the pallet will fit between the wheel arches. Yes. 
Tw yeah. 1200 by 800 is a euro pallet. Yeah. And that's, I think, 1280 or that sort of figure. Yeah. 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 So Basically, this is the sort of British version of the classic Volkswagen and what what yeah. VW have, have tried to do with the ID Buzz. Yeah. And yes, you can buy a commercial Buzz, but this has a bigger cargo volume, doesn't it? Yes, we, we, we are. In fact, I did the numbers the other day. We're 60% bigger on volume and 60% bigger on payload, which is... 60? 60, 60. And this yeah, is a smaller van, isn't it? Yes. Or is it about the yeah. same... I'm not sure of their dimensions, but... Uh, That's incredible. But, but, yeah, yeah. And as I drive past it, or manoeuvre around it, the Blue Morris JE there. They couldn't call it the JE Type, because apparently Jag owns the Type word, even though the Morris J van was originally called Type J. If you're looking at this compared to a, a VW ID Buzz Cargo, which I have driven on the show, and I'll put a link I'll put a link above my head now for when I first drove that car van. That's obviously a very well put together van, but it does suffer in the van department, the, the loadability and the, the payload. So that's what they've made sure that this doesn't suffer from. You can fit um, an eight by four sheet, I think, which is industry standard. So those inner wheel wells don't hinder that. But to be honest, all I'm thinking about is the fact that they've already said they're slating in a minibus or a, you know, a people carrier version. Uh, the British ID Buzz, I suppose, and the pickup truck, which I'll put pictures of on the screen now. So this one's got the, um, the cameras here instead of your conventional mirrors for extra aero. There is even talk about having the wheel arches made out of rubber. And that again harks back to the Morris J van, the original 40s van, because the post office used to order them and have the wheel arch is made out of rubber so that they could get scuffed and bent and they, they were deformable. Great idea, right? If you're watching this thinking, I'll just order a Ford E-Transit, uh, which I did do a review of on the show and I'll put the link above my head now. I suspect though, that you are not the customer for this. The sort of customer that would buy this van will understand that the, the price also reflects the PR ability of its appearance. The fact that it's a rolling billboard the fact that you want to tell the world that you have style and eco credentials. It's more than just a van. It's a rolling advertisement. And what I love about it also is that it's also useful. It's not just a sort of a, a, a gimmicky retro, if you will. It's the last vehicle on the road you'd look at and expect to be made of carbon fiber. That's almost what I like about this. Old school looks, lots of new school tech beneath and materials. It's very 21st century. It's what makes me interested in the job I do. It was a great opportunity to drive this and the blue van today. I've been waiting to drive them for a long time and I know that neither of them are finished, so I don't know what they're exactly gonna be like when they're production ready, but what we do know is that production begins at the end of this year. Customer deliveries will be in about 12 months from when you first watch this video. Clearly this is not a van for everybody with the price point that it is, with the looks that it is, but that's not the point. The point is that it will appeal to a certain number of people who appreciate the Britishness, the uniqueness, the fact that it can be an amazing rolling advert for their companies, but underpinned by real world future tech with a great British backstory. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Late Break Show. I certainly have enjoyed tootling around in this. Um, why not subscribe if you haven't already? Um, if you want to support us by Patreon, I'm not going to stop you. Uh, maybe have a look at our merch shop, which I will put a link in the description for as well. Thank you.